Hi everybody, I'm Michael Marie and today we're starting a brand new series. It's called Great Bad Advice from Yours Truly. And our first topic is going to be how to pick up women. Coming up right after this. So, you see a girl there, you think she's really pretty, and you just, you don't know what to do. And I'm going to give you the advice that you need to be able to approach that girl and get her on a date. Or whatever else. It is a like holding hands. So you want someone who can't escape. What you want is someone who cannot leave. You're forced to interact with you and th this is their only option is to talk to you. So your like your best examples are people who are at work. They can't clock out and run away from you. They have to stay in that department. They have to stay at that cash register. They can't just walk away. You, they are forced to, with their customer service obligations to talk to you. So this is best time. Best time. You, you approach and you just keep harassing. And I mean, they'll love it. Like, but oh my goodness, this, this guy is so into me that he's just going to continue. Like, they're going to love it. Trust me. It, it happens all the time. And it's very successful because they can't run away. They're, you're going to get their number. Just keep asking for that number. Just keep asking. They, they, if you don't stop, they'll see you're persistent, which shows that you're committed. And that is huge bonus in the relationship status so you need to you need to show that you are committed to this individual cashier rep or waiter or waitress or whatever you you gotta hone in on them and another place that's really good to approach somebody where they cannot escape is whenever they're filling up gas like hello there, there's obviously no gas in their car. They can't drive away from you. They are required to stand there and fill up their pre-purchased twenty dollars or fifty dollars of gas. So they have no option but to stand there. They are forced to be there. They can't run away from you. And it's totally not creepy at all to come forth and like talk to this person who clearly cannot run away. This complete stranger, and just, hey. And they're going to love it. They'll be so fond of it. They will not be creeped out, like, at all. They'll love it. It's not weird. You will not get pepper sprayed in the face. Another time that's really good to start talking to that individual is whenever you're working. Because if you're the only cash register open, they are required to come to you. And they can They want to buy whatever it is they have to buy. Like, they have their money in hand. So they want to buy... So they can't leave. They have to interact with you. They are forced to talk to you in those moments. And this is the best time whenever you're doing this interaction. Just be nice and subtle about it. Just, hey, this is 2450 and also BTW, can I get your phone number? Can I get your digits? They totally will not complain to your manager and they totally will not just up and leave out of storm and probably never come back to talk to you. I'm telling you guys, if you can get somebody where, they're, where they are forced to interact with you, it's the best time. It's never creepy. You never come off that way, trust me. All these things, it's totally fine. We love it, no, we, we totally love it. Well, that's enough for the first episode of Great Bad Advice by Michael Marie. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. If you guys have any um, situations in life that you need some tips or advice about, give me a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to shed my wisdom unto the world. And, you know, if you're new here, remember, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all the fun stuff and all the fun places. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys.